to cardiovert our patient. Once again, we turn the device to defib mode. With our electrodes and our uh, ECG cables connected to the patient. Okay. As you turn into defib mode, you'll see that we are now in manual mode. And as we come on, you'll see that there's a sync button followed by a trace. To cardiovert, all we need to do is we need to push the sync button with the soft key on the side. And as you can see, we are looking for the R wave and we are syncing with the R wave. All we now do is we select our energy and let's say it's 50 joules for, for now. We then charge. And we shock. As you can see, it defaults off again. If for some reason you need to shock again, as you can see, we still got this rhythm going. We can sync again. And you can see we're syncing. We charge. And we shock. And we now have a normal sinus rhythm that is now restored. And that is cardioversion in manual mode. If we are in monitoring mode or off mode and we need to cardiovert a patient, but this device is set up in AED mode when you switch to defib, we need to change the device to manual mode. How do we do that? We change it from off or monitor. If we're in monitoring mode, we turn it to defib. As you can see, we are in AED mode. We now need to change it from no AED to manual. How do we, and we do that by going from manual and pressing the soft key on the side here. We push the soft key. We confirm yes. We're now in manual mode. We can now see that the sync button has now popped up onto the screen. So now we can sync. And as you can see, we have all the markers sinking onto the R wave. We can now select our joules. And when, once again, we'll make it 50 joules. We'll charge. And we'll shock. And as you can see, once again, the sink has come off. In order to sink again, we just push the button. Or if we want to not sink anymore, we can switch it off again and that's cardio voting from manual from ad to manual